Hey everyone, Andrew with Andrew's Air Cool Technology. Wanted to do a quick video on a new product that I'm developing. This is a double A arm or a double wishbone suspension system for the front, planning system for the rear as well, but this is for the front. A uh, few things to point out here is I'm using stock Volkswagen ball joints up and bottom just like on 66 and later ball joint beam suspensions. It'll have a ball joint a spindle spud on my spindle design, that's what this is right here. And uh, it'll have rack and pinion steering. And you'll notice on the spindle design that, that this for the uh, tie rod end, the steering knuckle is actually forward versus backwards. So reason for that, I wanted to have the steering box in the front for being able to use the steering column almost unmodified. Obviously will have to be modified to connect to a rack and pinion steering box, but we'll use a Volkswagen rack and pinion that has the same spline pattern as the Super Beetle. So once they introduced uh, rack and pinion steering in the Super Beetle, uh, that spline pattern uh, carried over to the Volkswagen Rabbits. So we've got a nice manual rack and pinion steering from uh, the set late 70s Rabbits up to 78 that worked beautifully in for this application, and so it'll have Volkswagen parts throughout. So you'll be able to replace anything, uh, whether it's the ball joints, whether you had a problem with the rack, or you have a problem with tie rod, tie rod end, anywhere components, you'll actually just be able to buy off the shelf. And I'll try to stock probably some of those once I have this product released uh, so people can buy replacement parts as needed. Uh, of course, it, you know these things will last a long time before they need to be replaced. Um, a couple other design cues here is I do have in my spindle design here um, as the um, suspension travels up you will get a slight increase in negative camber uh, depending on how you set it but just using the stock eccentric here as you can see to adjust camber no no issues there we'll have uh, you know proper caster and uh, which is part of what I was doing today geometry wise is in this setup is mocking it up to get the caster right and I'm, I'm really really close but one minor little thing I need to need to change uh, to get it exactly where I want it but it's really simple so so that's really good um, you know travel wise wheel travel wise the shooting for it being basically the same as stock about five and a half inches of wheel travel maybe six inches of wheel travel um, right now these A arms are a little long but I figured out kind of what length they really need to be and that will probably affect the spindle design a little bit, but very minor uh, in terms of that. So we're just about there in terms of getting the geometry right. So just a couple of minor tweaks, uh, shortening these A-arms, uh, and then we'll have the geometry right, and then it's about building kind of the rest of it out and uh, getting the steering set up so there's no bump steer and uh, having it be installable on early and late cars. So I have frame heads. You can't see it's at a, at, a, at a view in the picture here, or sitting on the side here, a ball joint and a link pin frame head. But you'll be able to bolt, bolt this up to either of those. So whether it is a uh, pre-66 or a 66 and later, it will not matter uh, in terms of being able to bolt this on. So this will be uh, nearly 100% bolt-on installation. Certainly the, the whole suspension will be bolt-on installation. The steering column, as I mentioned, because of the rack and pinion steering, that will have to be changed, but I have an adapter that I've already designed and, and kind of fitted uh, that you can just weld on an adapter to the end of the steering column. That's the idea anyway. Um, and, uh, and you'll be able to attach using a Super Beetle uh, coupler uh, to the rack and pinion. And so um, it'll be a much simpler install than a lot of the, uh, I think there's only one AA arm suspension on the market uh, right now. Uh, in the U.S., there's one in Brazil, uh, if you could purchase it from Brazil. Um, and I know people have, have made their own in, in custom cars. I've seen it. Uh, but I wanted to bring kind of this mo more modern suspension technology and, and better suspension geometry uh, with coilovers. Adjust, you know, and you'll be able to adjust the ride height. So if you want it slammed, if you want it, you know, kind of more normal ride height, all of that's fine. Uh, you'll be able to do that here. That's one of my next steps is actually fitting... Uh, the coilover shock in here and figuring out uh, if any changes I need to make for that um, and of course fitting it under the car properly and of course getting it you know centered. Um, last kind of note is what I'm shooting for here also is 
that uh, the width of this suspension system will be equivalent to a four inch narrowed beam. Uh, that way you can basically put any tire combination, uh, wheel combination uh, you know, on the car that you want. Um, this steering knuckle will, you know, is set up basically almost exactly the way stock is geometry wise, except in forward for the rack and pinion. Um, but um, um, you'll just be able to, you know, use anything you want. You can lower the thing down. Hopefully, no, no bump steer. Um, better geometry for handling. Um, really trying to figure out whether I want to offer this with and without a sway bar. I have a sway bar in the design pretty straightforward to do a, a good sway bar uh, for this setup. Um, that's what, you know, this has a hole in the front for, a, for an end link for a sway bar to come in here. Uh, so, um, but I think some people might want, uh, especially people who like just lowering their cars way down, um, might want just the thing to, to be without a sway bar, so I might offer it with or without. If you have any feedback on that, just, you know, post it on the video. Um, sure would like to see if you know people really care about that or not or whether they always just you just want the sway bar all the time uh, regardless so uh, so that's what we're doing and, and it's starting to come out really good I think uh, we're just about there with the geometry um, and uh, uh, pretty soon uh, I'll be you know building an entire uh, system and installing it on a test car and, and driving around with it you know I, I hope anyway at least in the next uh, by the end of the year hopefully we'll We'll be at that point um, so we're getting close and uh, really appreciate all the business and appreciate you guys watching these videos and uh, you guys take care and we'll talk to you later bye bye